Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how to make two-way Firebase home automation system with which you can control devices with the manual switch as well as you can control it with the smartphone from anywhere around the world. So let's quickly get started with this video. I hope you have watched the previous video on Google Firebase home automation system which I uploaded a week ago. If you have not watched it yet, I will recommend you to watch it because the coding and some connection part is the same. I will leave its link in the description down below. For this project, I will recommend you to get PCB so the connections will be simple. So to buy PCBs, you can visit jlcpcb.com who are also the sponsors of this video. First, log in to this website, select Code Now and upload your gateway file. I have made this circuit diagram and converted it into a PCB format. This PCB is a universal PCB for home automation projects on my channel because I use it in almost all the projects so I recommend you to get this PCB. Now we'll generate the gearbird file and upload it to JLC PCB. After uploading you can select the quantity, the color and place your order. Now after receiving your gold quality PCBs, you can assemble the components and solder all of them. After soldering, connect the Node MCU board and we will upload the code. The code and the procedure to create your Firebase account and get the credentials of the project is completely same as in the previous video of Google Firebase Home Automation System. That's why I recommend you to watch this video. I have just made some changes in the design of our application. You can get the AI file of this MIT app inventor from my website that is www.viralsensecreativity.com. Link is in the description down below. And all the other details of this project is available on that page. So you can visit it. Now our PCB is ready with the program uploaded in it. Next thing you will need is this two-way switch. It has three pin connections. Now we'll connect this two-way switch with our relay. As you can see the relay has three pins and this two-way switch also has three pins. The first pin from the relay will be connecting to the first pin of our two-way switch. And the third pin from the relay will be connecting to the third pin of our switch. So we'll connect it. Now the connection is done. Now this is a socket and a 2 pin connector. Now I will break its connection. The one wire will go to the center pin of the relay and the other bricked wire will go to the center pin of our two way switch. In this way the connections will be closed and open in two way with the manual switch and with the smartphone that is relay. Now for demonstration I have kept all this openly and I have insulated this two way switch so I don't get any shock. I will recommend you to do this under adult supervision. Now I powered the node MCU and our circuit. Now it's turned on. I will turn off with the switch. And you can also do the same thing with the button on the, your smartphone. So you can see it is controlled manually by the switches and also with the smartphone. You can control this with your smartphone from anywhere around the world. So now to make this for multiple sockets, I will make an extension board. So 
So friends, this is the circuit diagram of our today's project. You can see all the components over here. First we have this PCB board which we made. Then we have this 220 volt AC to 5 volt DC converter module. Then we have the 3 pin sockets. And we have the 3 pin plug. And these are the two way switch with 3 pins connection. So now we'll see how this circuit works. So we'll start with the relay module and this two way switch. Now every relay has 3 pin connections and every two way switch has 3 pin connections. So first we have connected the first pin of the relay to the first pin of our two way switch. Then we have connected the third pin of our relay to the third pin of our two way switch. In this way I have connected all the relays and all the switches with each other in this manner. Now we are left with the center pin of the relay and the center pin of the switch. So now the center pin of the relay goes to one pin in the socket over here. As you can see all the center pins are connected to each socket. Now the neutral pin from the socket directly connects to the neutral pin of the 3 pin plug. So this is connected directly. Now the center pin of the two way switch is connected to the live pin of our 3 pin plug. So all the center pins are connected all together and it's connected to the live pin and all the neutral pins are connected to each other and it's connected directly to the neutral pin of this 3 pin plug. Now all the earthing wires are also connected to each other and they are directly connected to the earthing pin of our 3 pin plug. Next I have added a 220 volt AC to 5 volt DC. Now I am connecting power directly that is live and neutral wire to this 220 volt AC input and we are getting 5 volt DC output which directly goes to our PCB board to power all this circuit. So this is the circuit of our today's project. Now I have assembled this whole circuit into this extension board. We have two bulb sockets and two normal sockets to connect any appliances. So now I'm powering this socket. So our node MCU will be also powered inside this and it will be connected to our Firebase account. Now I've connected a bulb over it. This is the second bulb. Now I'm connecting the third bulb over this socket. And now I will demonstrate you how this system works. So now this system works with this app which we made. You will find the link for this app in the description down below. So you can press the manual buttons as well as the buttons on the smartphone to turn on and off. By pressing the button on the smartphone it takes 1 or 2 seconds to activate the device because it communicates with the Firebase and the Node MCU board. So friends I hope you like this project. So hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such video. We will be hitting 100k very soon so please do subscribe my channel and I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.